This next piece goes out to anybody who stands up to bullies. I always dedicate it to people who, who say no to bullies and stand up to them um, because they really need um, people to uh, draw boundaries from them. Bullies are people who don't know boundaries, you know. So you have to be brave sometimes and draw boundaries and not, not let them push you around. Stop old lands. I ignore him. Stop old lands. I ignore him. Stop old lands. I know you're not talking to me. Stop old lands. It ain't natural. As if he's got some actual authority over me. Walking down the street on the sidewalk, passing all the folks waiting at the bus stop. I see he's not full grown. An insecure boy, his manhood's on loan. A stereotype of masculinity. He's on this crotch, as if he can lift himself up a notch in the social scheme just by pulling his sink. So, I keep walking, but he just keeps talking, and I spin again when he starts preaching on sin. What's it to you? I hold hands with my boo, my lover, my friend, my sister, comrade, nuns. Together we survive life's harms. What's it to you? I hold her hand. He stands. Steps towards me, pulls up his chest, and under his breath, he exhales a grunt. Cunt. And I lose it. I mean, I lose it, because I'm on the brink, and rage takes over before I can think. Oh, hell no, motherfucker. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It ain't none of yours. Mind your fucking business, motherfucker. <laughs> and he ain't got nothing to say. Cause all the folks around him are moving away. Ain't nobody on his side. And I see his foolish blushing and his false hate of pride start to slide back where it hides, small and afraid in his pants. And then I feel a tug on my hands, and there's my girl who understands. I refuse to back down to woman or man who assumes and presumes to throw slurs like stones, to swing sticks at bones, to bully and berate and to hiss their hate. And when I look into her eyes, there's kindness and compassion that fashions itself into a smile, so after a while we leave that shit behind us, cause that fool's running scared to the bus. But before he can get away, my girl's just got to say, baby, you can get LPOC up in here. Hell, y'all gonna be a loud person to call up. Motherfucker can speak his mind, but I'm talking back and kind. He just respect me and mine. He gonna find this dyke, this cunt, this colored girl all up in his world. And with every step of my boots against concrete, I claim at least five blocks on that street before I shut up. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> so, if I talk a little too loud, and I act a little too proud, it's cause that's what it takes to survive and thrive on blinking at my world, to walk unafraid, hand in hand with my girl. Thank you. War. 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 to live and die for war is the Lord. We pray to kill and fight for war is the wine. We don't want to know now war is the bond of proper and is blood of our war. Want me some war? Gotta have me some war. Come on, let's war. War is a corpse. We suffer in apathy. War is us dead. Feeling no empathy. War is a drug that numbs our rage and peace. War is a drunk who needs just one more drink. War. Want me some more? Come on, let's war. Let's war some more. War is paying others. Servants for our dirty deeds, war is slaying others. We see but never really see wars us working like cogs and all machines. Wars us dying like dogs on busy streets. Wars us perverting, loving our hate. Wars we're so certain we'll hold on with faith. War cause we need death to fill unholy pleasure. War you know you love it, cut the trigger, shoot your terror. War! is the historical culmination of a profound lack of imagination or, more often, a refusal to demand any other options because we are too busy breaking our backs 
to feed our bellies and our children. Or preoccupied by which car, the black SUV or the red SUV, will I buy to drive off fantasizing about the importance of my daily life when half a world away and down the street? Infants die from man-made famines and a lack of medical supplies made purposefully scarce. Mothers smack their blood-smeared palms against the chest of their rotting children. Fathers drink from mad revenge for the deaths of desperate sons who throw rocks at tanks. And daughters pray for their own graves when cold dead blades are shoved between their thighs, pried open hands. Don't tell me we hate this. Because if we did, we'd be rioting in the streets right now, and we're not. There'd be no war right now, and there is. Don't tell me we didn't know, because deep down, we know. We knew. Don't tell me we can do nothing because they are us, and they can do nothing without us. America, slumber on. Dream yourself right to superiority. Feed your hunger for fat-free salvation. Settle your guilt on a couch in front of a TV screen in America. Close tight your eyes, plug up your ears, and open your wallets, because there's a war raging, baby. You signed and paid for war. You went to war. Let's kill for war.